Hi, Yarna Bees. How are you today? It's finished. It's finished. Um, and I have to be honest, I'm not happy with it. Um, it's gorgeous, but there's some issues. Oh, it took me quite a while to finish this. <clears throat> and for me to be so disappointed by the end of it is truly heartbreaking. Um, okay, let's talk about the yarn. I got my bag here. <clears throat> All right. So I used, oops, the new Karen Blossom Cake. And this color is Cabana. Love this yarn. Have to say, love this yarn. I used Hirschner's Worsted 8 Heathers in the color brick. I used <clears throat> Karen Latte Cake in cream. Uh, I also used Mainstay Sparkle Acrylic in taupe uh taupe taupe splash um and then i used premier basic uh pre premier premier premium basic <laughs> in Iran and then I used a whole bunch of one-off latte cakes that I had um, I think it was kissy kissy and what was the other one coconut cream and I think there was another one in there <clears throat> but um, I loved working with all this yarn, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I worked and putting all the yarns together. I had a lot of fun with that. Uh, but like I say, I did run into some issues with this and I, th I won't make another poncho. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do something similar but make it into a sweater. <sighs> um, okay, guys. Let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what my issue is. Okay, so here it is in its full length. I have the sleeves on it. Love the sleeves. I've got my tassels on it, but look at the front. See how it curls in here? <sighs> and it does this on the back too. <clears throat> Excuse me. See that? <sighs> I am just so beside myself. But this, I mean, the whole thing is gorgeous. I mean, it, it's stunning and it's soft. It is so soft. And the, um, I mean, the cuffs and everything, the arms are so squishy soft and so comfortable. But... I'm 
turn it around again. But that is an unacceptable. I mean, it's just, oh, I'm so heartbroken. Um, I've washed it already. I've tried. I mean, there's no way you can even block this, you guys. So, yeah. Now, my thought is... And no judgment. This is a no judgment zone. This is just something I thought about. If someone who was a 4X or 5X that um, has had a have bigger bottom half wore this, it would probably level this out a little bit. And it would look beautiful. But for like someone who, who is an extra large, 1X, even a 2X, I don't think this will work. Um, there's lots of room in the arm area for a larger woman. So I think this would be absolutely stunning on a larger woman, you know. But for, for the smaller woman, it would just drape like this, which is just heart crushing. So like I say, um, I'm, I really I wanted this to be something that I could wear and show off but it's I you know what Brenda from you know the poncho lady I don't know how you do this I I just I don't even know I think what happened was because here and here these colored lines I can't even point these colored lines are two acrylic yarns held together and then this part is two latte cakes put together um one has stretch and one doesn't so the two together it would have probably been okay if i had to put a regular four weight yarn mixed with the latte then it maybe would have held together properly but yeah it's a learning process for sure uh <clears throat> like i say if i was going to do this again like i'm not going to make a poncho again i'll leave that to the professionals <laughs> but i wanted to try it you know, and um, like I say, I, I will try this in a sweater, but I will do some things differently. Uh, I will put a regular four weight yarn with the latte. Um, and try it that way. Because it hangs at a point, yeah. I think that that's what the problem, one of the big problems was. Um, if it's a sweater and it's right across, then it should hang differently. So, yeah, I really want to try it again, but in a sweater version. So, but that was a lot of work, a lot of work. I would love to see this go to a larger woman. Um, you know, where, that can use this <clears throat> and be proud to wear it. Um, because it was, it was a labor of love, I tell you. It was a labor of love. So, but yeah, I mean, I do make like all my patterns can go go up to whatever size you need it 
um, this one is the same. But it's the yarn I used that, I mean, I really like the look of the latte. But because of the design, um, and, and this is n no, like this, this was, um, bag of days. Don't stop me now. Don't stop me now. Poncho. Um, except I added the tassel and I did a different, um, collar, but for the most part, it's her pattern and her pattern is flawless. It's perfect. I love it. It was a lot of fun to do, but the yarn I used was not the best idea for this. Like I say, if I had used a four weight yarn with the latte, it may have been different. So, <clears throat> um, yeah. Tell me your thoughts. Um, I'm just, I'm so devastated over this. I had such high hopes for this, uh, and I flopped. This was on me. This was not on anybody else. This was on me, um, not thinking, but yeah. So anyway, okay guys, that's all I have for you today. <laughs> it's so soft, so wonderful, so pretty. So not for me. Okay, guys, I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. And yeah, have a great day. Bye. Bye.